Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for coming here tonight. As you can see, the uh, Somme mural has moved, what, 500 yards up the road, and we're delighted to have it up. Uh, we appreciate the assistance that's been given to us by the Northern Ireland uh, Housing Executive, not the Northern Ireland Executive, the Northern Ireland Housing Executive. They've been very helpful. We also appreciate the help from Impact Signs. Um, who have been very, very good and uh, got it up last week. So th thanks to them and thanks to you for coming and thanks to the community for coming out and supporting the event. So we've got an order of service here. I'm going to read out a short prayer. After the prayer, Mark's going to tell us about Private William McFadden VC who lived up at the top of the Craigie Road in the GP surgery. Then we'll have the act of remembrance. Um, we've got a, the Pray to the Raven, who we're very appreciative of. We're going to do a couple of wee songs for us, or tunes, should they say. So, we'll start off with the prayer. So if everybody could bow their heads, please. It's a soldier's prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, 
by whose grace thy servants are enabled to fight the good fight of faith and ever prove victorious. We humbly beseech thee to inspire us that we may yield our hearts to thine obedience and exercise our wills in thy behalf. Help us to think wisely, to speak rightly, to resolve bravely, to act kindly and to live purely. Bless us in body and in soul and make us a blessing to our comrades. Whether at home or abroad, may we ever seek the extension of thy kingdom. Let the assurance of thy presence save us from sinning, support us in life and comfort us in death. O Lord, O Lord, our God, accept us prayer. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. <coughs> As Stephen said, folks, good evening. You are all more than welcome here in Willowfield for our service of remembrance to our fallen. I'm going to give a short insight into life and the tragic death of Private William McFudgeon, VC, the 11th Battalion, the Royal Irish Rifles, the YCVs, who was killed in action the 1st of July 1916. William Frederick Billy McFudgeon was born in Lurgan, County Armagh, Ireland, on the 9th of October 1895. His father, William McFudgeon, JP, was a linen salesman. His mother was Amy. The family moved to Belfast, living firstly in the Ormoe area, before settling at a house called the Rubicon at the top of the Craigie Road. It is now a doctor's surgery. Billy had four siblings, John Bowden, Robert James, Mary Gordon and Henry Bowden. Billy was educated at Mount Pottinger Boys School from April 1904 to August 1908 and the Trade Preparatory School Municipal Technical, Technical Institute. He was an apprentice in the linen trade with Spence Bryson. He also played for Collegians Rugby Football Club. When the Young Citizen Volunteers were formed in September 1912, Billy joined and was a member of 1st Battalion Balnafai and Newton Breda YCV East Belfast Regiment of the Ulster Volunteer Force. They were known as Chocolate Soldiers because most of the men had a commercial background and came from reasonably well-off families. He enlisted in the 14th Battalion of the Royal Irish Rifles on the 22nd of September 1914, joining C Company. Billy was bigger than the average recruit, standing six feet tall. The battalion trained at Fenner Camp, County Donegal, before moving to Randallstown Camp in County Antrim. From there they moved to England for further training at Seaford in East Sussex and Liphook in Hampshire. Billy accompanied the battalion to France on the 5th of October 1915. On the 1st of July 1916, near Thiepful Wood, France, while in a concentration trench and opening a box of bombs for distribution prior to an attack, the box slipped down into the trench, which was crowded with men, and two of the safety pins fell out. Private McFadden, instantly realising the danger to his comrades, with heroic courage, threw himself on the top of the bombs. The bombs exploded, blowing him to pieces, but only one other man was injured. Billy well knew his danger, being himself a bomber, but without a moment's hesitation, he gave his life for his comrades. His bo body was, sadly was not identified after the war, and he is commemorated in the Thiefwell Memorial at the Somme. As he never married, his Victoria Cross was presented to his father by King George V at Buckingham Palace on the 20th of February 1917. When handing over the VC, the King said, Nothing finer has been done in this war, for which I have given a Victoria Cross, than the act committed by your son to save so many lives and giving his own so heroically. In addition to his Victoria Cross, he was awarded the 1914-15 Star, the British War Medal, 1914-20, and the Victory Medal, 1914-19. His VC was donated by his brother and sister to the Royal, Royal Ulster Rifles Regimental Museum on the 1st of March 1980. It is held in the Regimental Museum in Belfast. Here lies a soldier.
They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. The age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. Two.